So cool. I just learned how to pause a video. That makes me happy. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I did. I made a journal. <laughs> Wild at Art Journal. Wild at Art are the courses that I'm offering. So come to the campcarestudio.com and um, yeah, take a look. Sign up for classes. I've got classes starting in September. In studio, traveling, um, online, Zoom, teachable classes. But um, this is the video, guys. Or this is the <laughs> here's the video. This is the journal that I've made. And I made a process journal. I mean, I made a process video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, Sunday. <laughs> I, I made a video showing that process and I realized that it's just too far away. So I'm gonna have to make another one. But, um, so this is complicated to the point where I need to make a whole like sectioned off video. But since you came, I'm just gonna show you since I just did like a really wild and uh, little taste, little appetizer of this. I just, I thought it would be fun to just show you, um, to take this, this is what I used for a palette yesterday on my video. And I'm just gonna show you how I, um, what, what a little bit of my process is. Put all my book binding tools over here. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. So I just have regular watercolor paint and I, this is watercolor paper. I'm not sure what weight it is. <clears throat> Comes in a big thing. <laughs> Comes in a big thing, you guys. I know all the art words, let me tell you. Um, and then I just put a little glob. In fact, I'm just gonna put a few globs. I like this palette that I, I just grabbed a handful of watercolors, um, of watercolor liquid paint. You can get them in, um, cake form. I like, I like both, but these are some colors that I enjoyed and, um, yeah, I'm just going to put them out here to show you how I play with paint. One of the, one of the ways I play with paint. One of the ways I play with paint. I end up talking down into here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. So look, I got my spray bottle. It's not a squirt gun, like I said in the other video. <laughs> and I like to just um, get my my uh, paper wet. And you can see, like, these piles of, like, turn into cake. So these are what these used to be yesterday, and they've darkened up. Um, the fun part about watercolor paint is you can, or paper, is you can, well, watercolor. Fun part about it is making puddles, making rivers. Right now, I'm just going to show you how I do this and just make a big splotchy mess. Yeah, I don't have any paintbrushes here on my table, so I'm just going to take one of these sticks. And uh, this is something new to me, but I'm just going to make some designs with it. What, what's fun is you just take get, get your watercolors out and... Uh, with the intention of just making marks with it. You're not painting anything. You're just making marks. I hope this is easier for you to see than the, than the, because I invested in a camera that I really, I mean, in a, um, a light stand, a tripod. It's basically, you know, I, I wanted people to be able to see what was up. Let's see if I can get this undry. No, it's going to stay like that, but ooh, look what I did. It's the end of firework season. I live in Wyoming where there's a lot of fireworks sold here. It's quite the, quite the, um, business. <laughs> so must have inspired me somewhere along the line. I do like fireworks. I went to Maryland. Um, I saw fireworks at, uh, the square in Washington, DC when I was very pregnant and very not in the mood to like really do that, but it turned out to be one of the coolest things of my life. So I recommend doing that. Um, yeah, let's see what happens here. I probably made a lot of mud, but so I have a tendency to go, Oh, let's see. And then do that. But what's fun is to just, Oh man, <laughs> I'm dripping where I don't want to drip. I'm not, I'll get used to this camera business and I'll be able to see 
what I've done, but yeah, I'm probably going to do this too much and ruin my design. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much made a mess, but it doesn't have to stay a mess. Because guess what? Rorsatch enters the building. Is that what it's called? <laughs> I don't know. But I am a player of the paint. Look, I made puddles in both places. And now I can just, um, I showed you this pipette and got that filled with water and can oh yeah I'm getting water in it going grip grip yeah that's turning into wash so I could have left it how it was or I could just like really make a nice surface here but there's just more water so you don't even need a brush right I, I like brushes and I kind of wish I had a brush right now but because I don't, you're going to see how this <clears throat> how this goes all over the place. All right. What I want to tell you is campcarestudio.com is um, the place to go. Sign up for classes. Sign up for a newsletter so you can um, c go to Zoom classes, to teachable classes, to in-person traveling classes, wherever. I'm ready to take this show on the road, guys. And I'm so happy that you joined me to see um, what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> But I will show you how to make a journal in my next video. And I might even show how to make, or at least I could put a plug in for these jam sacks that I've made. Um, on Teachable website, there's a free class on how to make this turtle um, painting. I've made it into a, I painted it on a canvas zipper bag. But um, if you look on my website under the Oh, let's see, what category is it? The Wild at Art um, workshops. You can, Wild at Art camps. Got to get my lingo right. Then um, there's a free class on how to make this. And soon there will be a free class or um, within reasonable class on how to make some journals like this. And then I'll show you how to stitch. So I've stitched some of this. I painted some stuff. These are both bags. This, um, this stitching, this slow stitching is one of my favorite things to do. It's pretty fun and awesome. And one more. I really like this fabric, fabric, uh, fabric collage I've made. So I'm going to go now, but this has been a plug. I've been showing you what I did with paper. A little plug for some um, courses. Lastly, I'll just tell you that... Uh, the Care Alliance is sponsors all of these things, and it is my nonprofit that um, all the tuition that you pay, any kind of products you want to buy there, will be funding um, the Care Alliance, which takes. I gotta do this. <laughs> Get rid of that. Takes um, camps like this to. Right now, we're doing recovery recovery your wild classes and it's recovery from addiction and recovery from domestic violence get your lives back on track with some creative work so i wonder if i can be seen right here um because i do want to tell you face to face that i really appreciate any support that you can give to this cause and um shine a light to your friends that might be interested in this cause but uh please visit campcarestudio.com and support the care alliance and support yourself really that's what i'm after is for you to support your own creativity so um bye <laughs> now to figure out how to turn this off without being disruptive <laughs> maybe you can see my little baby buddha there yep you can i turned i blew my candle out before i did anything okay bye